Hey, Anthony Parent here, uh, Parent and Parent, LLP, the IRS medic, and uh, welcome to this channel. Uh, thank you very much, and I'm going to show you some of the crazy rules of the Connecticut Department of Revenue Services has when it comes to sales tax. Well, just how crazy are Connecticut state sales tax? Well, in this video, we're going to give you a little introduction. Right here, I have the guide for the Connecticut Department of Revenue Services, right here. This is just a building contractor's guide to sales and use taxes. This is published by the state of Connecticut. And this is about how thick it is right here. Okay, so this doesn't include, you know, this, this doesn't include um, anyone else, uh, beauty salons um, or restaurants or anything like that. This is strictly for the building trades. These are some of the rules. So I wanna go over some of the rules that I think might be a little bit crazy. Um, one of the first questions is, uh, uh, what about chimneys? Uh, chimney services taxable? Well, it depends. It depends if uh, the chimney is a repair or if it's for a new chimney. It also depends on whether or not your income, it's for income producing property. And what if your chimney has a rat in it? Um, is there sales tax to get rid of that rat? Well, guess what? It depends. It depends on whether that, it depends on whether or not your exterminator is going to kill the rat or just catch them and release them. Now, I don't know what happens if the rat dies in transit, if that becomes a taxable event. Um, another one, fun one is carpeting. Wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Is wall-to-wall -wall carpeting taxable? Well, it comes down to one thing, glue. Is it glued down? Because if a wall-to-wall -wall carpet is glued down, that's a permanent structure, even though I don't know any wall-to-wall -wall carpet that lasts more than 20 years. Um, but apparently, if you glue it, that's permanent. But if you tack it down, then that's not permanent in the installation is not taxable. Uh, what about flooring? Well, kind of like the same thing. The last thing you want to do is nail something down. But wait a second, carpet, you could tack down. That's not permanent. But if you nail down a floor, that is taxable. Um, and it's ta But it's not taxable if it's a floating floor. But even if you nail a trim around the floor so it stays in place, it's still not taxable. Um, what about window treatments? This is one, this is one that's pretty funny. Uh, window tre treatments is the installation of window treatments. Here is a window treatment right here. Um, is that taxable? Of course it isn't. Why would you do that? What about window washing? Yeah, it is. You better pay taxes on your window washing. Otherwise, you're gonna get the full brunt of the DRS. So we're gonna be moving on um, on, this, on this channel, on this uh, page. We're gonna talk more about some of the crazy things um, the Connecticut DRS uh, does to consumers and to a lot of the retailers, uh, the people who are put in charge and are forced by law to collect taxes for some of the craziest, craziest rules, laws, and regulations you have ever seen. So please subscribe to this channel and like this, uh, like this uh, fan page and uh, we'll be seeing more of you in the future. Thanks for watching.